good job, boys. It's Doug Minton. I'm coming at you with another reaction video. Al Harper shares a LeBron playoff story that left him shook. Now, I'm telling you, I want to watch this because I've seen a lot of people, like, saying good, like, i see a lot of people saying a lot of good things about this. I just really want to know where all the LeBron hate coming from. I'm telling you, wasn't well, nobody scared of LeBron. LeBron doesn't have that killer instinct. Shut up. Watch this stuff. Watch the series, bro. Watch the series. But, man, I'm going to get it. I, want, I really want to watch this because this is an NBA player, not somebody in the comments. You know, somebody who never played basketball just watched it all their life. But if you're already getting into this, if you're new, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below what you want me to react to next. Don't forget to follow my Instagram at tv.dub. We hope you enjoy this clip. Before you watch it, please hit that subscribe button. I, again, in my And if you dive, say Al Harford is trash, I promise you, you just don't know basketball. I promise you. Reference today, um, I didn't realize. This man locked up Giannis multiple you times. And he about 50. lost to LeBron and the Cavs five times in the playoffs. And so I was once... Oh, my God. I'm not going to pause, but, bro, 2018, Brian versus the Celtics? Bro, what the need, need I... Bro, 2018, LeBron versus the Celtics, bro? The Hawks in 09, twice... If this, I may be wrong on this, but... Twice with the Hawks in 15 and 16, and then 17 and 18 with the Celtics. Yeah. We've asked this question before, but I'm always fascinated by the answers. The difficulty of beating LeBron in the Eastern Conference, what made it so hard? Man, uh, he, he just had an, another gear that um, I feel like individually, you know, you couldn't reach. Um, that level that he got to. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, when when he beat us in Boston, uh, Jason Tatum's rookie year, um, that we took him to seven. That was and that was his rookie year. One that, that was his rookie year, Jason Tatum. But bro, Jason Tatum will be the MVP, I'm telling series you. series that I played against him, that it was competitive in that regard, because everything else, he, he just dominated the teams that I was in. Um, I remember that I was probably in the best shape that I've been, um, in my career. Mm. And, um, and I share this story with, you know, with some of the guys when, you know, when, when we're talking and it was game seven, um, about four minutes to go in the fourth quarter. It was still a very close Bro, I game. Might, I might have to rewatch that, man. We're, uh, getting out of the timeout and I'm looking at Marcus Morris. I'm looking at Jason Tatum, Jalen, Terry, myself, we're gassed. We're, I mean, it's game seven. We're giving everything we have. I'm in great shape, but I'm still like, you know, just very tired from the game. And I look at the other side and he's uh, sitting kind of like in the scores table, kind of like just kind of leaning very casual. He's played the whole, every single minute up to that point. And he bro, looked I'm like, bro, like, unfazed. Like, bro, like, what, how can you deny, like, bro, how much longer can y'all? Just deny this man greatness, bro. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. I'm prom I promise you, you don't like LeBron because he speaks out. That's the only reason why. Oh, and LeBron put himself in a GOAT debate. Bro, they've been calling this man. They've been comparing him to Michael Jordan forever. They've been comparing him to Michael Jordan since he's first. No, since he was in high school. It's either that's Michael Jordan, boom. As soon as he won, that one called, they was already talking about the GOAT debate. Please stop it. It was never, is LeBron better than um, Larry Bird? Is LeBron better than Magic? It was always LeBron versus Jordan. Please stop. Please stop. He, he looked unbothered. And and to me, that was disturbing. The fitness level, the conditioning that, that he's in. Um, I think it's something that people don't realize how good of a shape he's in. No, Cal. And also... Um, Promise you, LeBron don't have a prime, bro. He, I mean, there's just it's not it's a lot been of the same that can every do that. year. And you know that, that there's a reason why he's you know he's one of the greats. No cap. That team in eighteen two, that was Trash. the non Kyrie team, right? Kyrie Trash. was with you guys, obviously. Trash played, team. Uh, at the end of that season, not able to play in the playoffs. So he's I honestly don't know, but what team is better? To get the flight, the the eighteen. Cavaliers or the Lakers right now? D'Angelo Russell included, like, right now. Not Russell Russell, but, like, right now. Like, bro, I honestly don't know who would win that. Um, bro, that's, that's, bro. Like, them teams are, like, Has bro. the ball and is manipulating every single offense possession. That's the other part of this. Now, he has shooters, though. That's why. And he's LeBron did have shooters minute. on that team. I remember and the that. Only thing they too, wasn't the bad. Only thing too, was that we had so many different bodies we were throwing at him 
We had Marcus Morris on him. We had Jason on him. We had Jalen on him. Smart, myself, being physical, playing hard, thinking that that would kind of wear on him throughout the game. And and this guy was still standing strong, you know, at the end of the game. Obviously, some of his teammates came in, stepped up, made some plays. But yeah, he facts. played that game every single minute, um, I believe, of that game seven. If I'm, you I, I, watch that game, I promise, bro, I'm going to have to rewatch that, the whole series. This. Is there a peak LeBron? No. Like, is there a version of LeBron, whether it was early LeBron? Because no. you, you played against him sort of in every... See, every... like, bro, like, peak LeBron's, bro, is like, if you say Miami Heat LeBron, that's just athletic. Like, LeBron wasn't a great shooter when he was on Miami. Now LeBron pulling up from half court. You know what I mean? It's just like, bro, like, I honestly, bro, I don't know a peak I don't know what peak LeBron. Miami, like, is defense athletic. Now, you know, Cal just like athletic shooting and all that. I don't know, bro. It's not a bro. Every I don't facet know. Facet of his career and played against him in the playoffs in all these different uh, eras. Of, this man of been LeBron's the same career. his whole Do you career. Think that there's a peak LeBron. Yes, uh, I believe that it was um, probably his last um, two years in Miami. And mm. when he went back to Cleveland, those mm. first um, two two years, so like that four year period, I believe that's when he was. Uh, he, he's still unbelievable. But yeah, that, facts. That, I can see I that though. That's when he was at his peak. I can see that. The first two years, oh yeah, I can see that because he did go. Oh yeah, that's when Matthew Del. I think that's when Matthew Delavadova was playing because Kyrie was hurt. Yeah, yeah. Those yeah. last two years in Miami and the first two in Cleveland. That might be yeah. I've actually never heard never heard somebody combine the two teams, but I actually I think that makes a lot of sense. That makes sense. What he figured out in Miami. Yeah. Mentally, basketball IQ, he always had it. Yeah. But learning how to win at that high level and then going to Cleveland, still in probably prime athlete athletic years, um, the accumulation of skill. I think that's probably the best answer I've heard to that question. Do you think, Al, do you, was, was game four against the Milwaukee your favorite personal playoff moment? Gotta be. Um, it, it, was, it was very special um, uh, uh, to me. The, the one that I have to say that, that I really, you know, enjoyed and, and, and it was just very emotional was we played the Wizards um, in, in 2015 in the playoffs, in the second round um, in Atlanta. And and I believe it was a, oh, man. it was oh, game died. Hold on, let me five. see if they done um, talking about Brian. They, game field. they had a great team. They ain't that the series can, Just sign me up. Hold on. I, I'd have to say that. That series. Oh, yeah. But, bro, hey, the Atlanta Hawks was low-key fire. Where is Jeff T right now? That team was actually fire. And they had Dennis. Nah, that team was that team was deadly. They just – they just – going against LeBron, bro, bro that, that, was, that was just tough. The man was going through the Eastern Conference like it was nothing. Full skunking everybody. I'm telling you, the Celtics was his man only – like, that was his only threat. That was his only threat. And that's a team that he had by himself versus rookies. Just saying. But, man, look, I'm telling you, you can't deny it much longer. If it's NBA players saying that LeBron is like LeBron is like that, why would I listen to you? Please explain that to yourself. But, man, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below what you want me to react to next. Don't forget to follow my Instagram at tv.dub. And, yeah, man, I'm out.